and I'm sorry about that one mistake, and we fail to realize the other parts of our life. So the question we're asking today is, how often do you hear or have we say, said, that's not fair? I've talked to several people recently about fairness, and especially in light of young children. It is amazing that young children from three to five are very acutely aware of what is fair. You'll hear, well, that's not fair. And especially, it usually is dealing with siblings or getting what they want, that there's this, this desire that everything should be absolutely fair. Now, when they say fairness, generally speaking, what they're saying is they're using the word fair, and it's amazing how they come up with fair, there seems to be no lack of, of appreciation for fair in their life. But what they're saying is, it's not the same. I'm not getting the same treatment, or I'm not getting the same that someone else is getting. And therefore, that is not fair. Now, when we think about that in terms of God, because we oftentimes think God is not fair because we don't get the same treatment, that somebody else gets, or we feel that we're not getting the same treatment at all. So, but, so let me say this as just a matter of my way of thinking in this regard, and I'm just saying my way. I, I'm thinking this could be correct. God is not fair when it comes to sameness. And why would I say that God is not fair when it comes to sameness? When he created Adam, Adam kind of declared afterward, well, it's not fair that I should be alone. And then he created Eve. Well, it's not fair that you made her out of my rib and, and that it's, you know, there, there's this thing about fairness that in terms of same. What if they'd been exactly the same? God had created two Adams. You see, God has made us different. And in that difference, he has demonstrated his love towards us. And we recognize what we have to do in working with one another is to be fair to each other. The, you know, the wife is to be a helpmeet because the man needs help, is what some ladies would say. But yeah, help me, we understand that. God has made us to work together in a fair way with each other. And to be fair to each other. It is interesting that we oftentimes are not fair to one another. The guy, for example, the guy might come home. He's had a hard day's work. The wife's also had a hard day's work. He sits down, wants to drink a beer, watch TV, burp, go to bed, and that's it. And she continues to work on. As opposed to them, let's work together, let's partner and do this. There's, a, there's a, a kind of a lack of fairness in that regard. So fairness usually, though, involves two people. If not two people, it at least involves a person, and generally speaking, God. Because we think that God is not fair, but usually it involves two people when we're talking about fairness. Well, it's not fair that he ate all of his dinner and you're unwilling to eat your dinner and you just want to do things the way you want to do them. Oh, it's not fair that he got, you know, he got a uh, shirt and a pair of uh, blue jeans. And he's saying, well, it's not fair. She's got a pink dress. You see, there are differences, and, but we, we tend to think about fairness. If we think of it in sameness, we begin to realize that fairness is not about sameness. However, that's how young people oftentimes think of it. And also, as we grow older, we use other things. It should be the same. If they have this, then I have to have this as well. As well. But fairness has been a complaint of humanity for a long, long time. And that's why I went back to the book of Ezekiel and talking about, well, God, you are not fair. Feeling the blues today or tired of life already? Do you have questions about life or need spiritual advice? We can help. Log on to WorldwideChurchOfGod.com or wcgfairfield.blogspot.com and stay connected to reality. 
The Worldwide Church of God in Fairfield, Santa Rosa, and Modesto are located in the San Francisco Bay Area, regarded as the most prosperous region in the United States. We believe Jesus Christ when he proclaimed in Matthew 6.24 that serving God is more important than serving mammon. We welcome everyone to come and worship and fellowship every Saturday at the times listed on your screen and on our website, worldwidechurchofgod.com.